What's good everyone, my name is Chef Koch and today I want to talk about a real veteran in the underground who has heavily impacted the plug and b subgenre Lil Shine. Lil Shine was born and raised in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He already had a deep connection to music in his childhood with his dad listening to rock music and teaching Shine how to play the drums. His musical inspirations at that time were Michael Jackson and Marvin Gaye, and you can definitely hear their soulful and emotional sonority in Shine's music today. He actually started making music at only 10 years old and his mom came up with his rap name. Back then Shine created funk beats with 3-6 Mafia vocal chops, kind of like DJ Smokey did, so he was a producer before he was a rapper. But then he found interest in skateboarding, which also made him want to start rapping, and he actually mixed all of his own music as well. His first ever song was on a Mexico draw beat, therefore at only 10 years old Shine already would become a part of the underground rap scenes with influences from Lil Tracy, Black Cray and Chief Keef. He first saw success with his songs at 13 or 14 years old, but he didn't really get taken seriously because people just saw a white preteen rapping about drugs and ops. Also back then the music scene was very different and Plug and B was very new still, so people didn't really understand Shine's musical style and he became a meme in underground but he stayed consistent and managed to build an authentic fan base over the last few years, while also polishing his sound. Thankfully nowadays, he is receiving his flowers for being a plug and be pioneer. So now let's talk about some highlights of his discography. First we have Miami Baby, which dropped in January 2019 and kind of went viral for Shine's kid voice on the plug and be instrumental. And then we have Stop, as well as Relax, which he released in July 2019 and go into the same direction as Miami Baby. These songs opened a lot of doors for Shine in the music industry and he managed to join a now defunct group called The One with members like Summers or Can Can. And he even made a song of Autumn titled I Don't Care. Next to that, from 2020 to 2021, he was very close to the Reptilian Club Boys collective. But according to Shine, he never was a real member of the group, which probably was for the better. <laughs> Later in June 2021, he dropped an amazing tape titled Heavenly Ascension. This record features melodic plug and b instrumentals as well as Chief Keef inspired trap songs with pitched up vocals by Shine, drained in autotune, which create this angelic and emotional sonority. Shine really uses autotune as an instrument and it's just relaxing listening to him singing and rapping. Then Shine dropped the single Loser in November 2021, which went viral on TikTok and sits at 2.7 million streams today. It's a cool song but in no way Shine's best body of work if you're being honest. Something way better was the project Losing Myself, which Le Shine released in October 2022. This tape is filled with plug and b anthems, the record has a euphoric sonority which makes you feel careless and free, honestly it's the perfect album for the summer in my opinion, and even includes a song with one of the plug and b creators Cory Lingo, titled Choose Up. After that Shine dropped his album Love Sick in August 2023, one of the best albums in the underground from last year for sure. Again, we have a lot of plug and b bangers on here and I especially enjoy the song Jeans Soaked. For me, Lil Shine's music perfectly encapsulates the early stages of being in love and being happy. I don't know how he does it, but I always get flashbacks to the good romantic periods of my life when I listen to him. Lil Shine really is the cupid of underground rap and his records are extremely earwormy. And more recently, a song with Summer titled Hop Out came out in December 2023 and it was nice seeing the two plug and b pioneers united on a song together. A remarkable thing about Lil Shine is that he went from being one of the most hated in the underground to one of the most appreciated, which just proves that you should always stay true to yourself and don't get discouraged by others. Shine was so ahead of his peers, as a teen he had already understood how to make timeless music and build a real fanbase, something that many full grown adults in the underground are still struggling with today. Still, he evolved a lot from the baby voice songs back in the day, but honestly the high voice over plug and b beats kind of is legendary at this point. What's crazy is that Lil Shine already has 8 years of experience doing music and now he's just 19. He started out so young that by now he pioneered the subgenre of rap and solidified himself on the underground all while still being a teenager. I'm hyped for his next releases, definitely check out his music if you haven't yet and with that being said, thank you for watching, please subscribe as I'm trying to hit 200 subs before the end of the year and comment which artist I should cover next. Cheers!